Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a good beer. I say that about a lot of the beers, but this is Oscar Blues 1050. This is an Imperial Stout. Oh man, that smells great. This pour is very dark. Very, very dark, like used motor oil dark. Very, very dark, um, thin head. Smells really good. You get definitely some roasting notes right off the bat. Let's take a first sip. That is good. I've talked about certain beers kind of defining a certain type of beer. Like for me, the Bell's Best Brown Ale kind of defines what a brown ale should be. And I would probably say that 1050 probably defines for me what an Imperial Stout should taste like. The color, the smell, the flavor. So the name, 1050. So it's 10 and then F-I-D-Y. It's not F-I-D-D-Y. If, which would be kind of the the play on um, 10.50. It is 10.5 percent. So there's some there's some schools of thought out there that thinks that's where the name comes from. I did a bit of research on this because I was really curious as to what where the name came from, and I found on more than one place from different beer distributors and whatnot that Fiddy stands for F the industry do it yourself which i don't know it's kind of cool i can see that being something oscar blues would do per se we're drinking this definitely on the warmer side um this is uh about 54 degrees at a guess based on past experience Light lacing, not, not really anything to speak of, and that head is gone. There's still a certain creaminess just over the surface, almost like an espresso, where it's just sitting over there. And there definitely is some coffee notes in this. This is not a coffee stout, but just just by the, the act of roasting um, the grains, there's definitely some coffee notes. This is just very smooth. It is a little bit heavy. This is probably not one of those beers you'd want to have four or five of in a row. It's, it's kind of heavy. Let's see what else we got for stats. 65 IBUs. That is definitely on the heavier side for IBUs. But th there's enough complexity and, and other flavors in the beer that it really carries that 65 and, and I need to do more and do a whole episode maybe on how they come to that IBU what equipment's used or whatever how they come to that IBU rating about a week or so ago I had this out at a bar the barrel aged version and the barrel aged version was quite a bit better than this. Just everything good that barrel aging does for a beer, it definitely did for this beer. Um, I, as I've gotten through it, more than halfway through it now, I would say that, that that 65 IBU is definitely coming out a little bit, kind of sitting on the back of your tongue. It's not a hoppy bitterness, but I, maybe it is. I don't really think it's a hoppy bitterness. More of like a... I don't know. It's not super bitter, but it just kind of sits there a little bit. 
can's pretty cool, real simple. Um, just black and aluminum. It's 1050 on it. Has the ball logo on the can. I'm not sure what this is in the back and then the Oscar Blues logo. It says half baked full roasted ale, cross eyed cyclopene can can concupiscent. I don't know what that means. Oscar Blues Longmont Longmont Colorado. I think I'd already have a couple. in a snifter glass because it is um, because of the alcohol content. Anything imperial you can drink in a snifter glass. And again like I've talked about a snifter is one of the best glasses for kind of collecting the scents up to you put your nose in here and it's just really a collection of, of the scents. There definitely is some alcohol smell. More You smell it more than you taste it. This is not a cheap beer. $14.99 a four pack. Um, I think that's, it's probably fair for what it is though. Again, it's about half price of what you would get it for out. So there's that. The barrel aged version was just right. I mean, it was really, really good. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm between a four and a four and a quarter on this beer. The barrel age kind of ruined this the regular version for me, so I think I'm gonna go with a four. I think I had the barrel age at a four and a quarter or four and a half. I think it was four and a quarter, so I can't put this at a four and a quarter because the barrel age was that much better. It's good. But that, it has some almost smoky, almost like, uh, I don't know if you ever cooked with liquid smoke. It's a, it's a, it's a flavor additive. It comes in a bottle, looks like a Tabasco bottle. It almost has a hint of that smokiness to it. There is like a, it's not, it doesn't have a syrupy flavor, but it almost has a syrupy appearance on the glass. It really coats the glass like, like it is thick. That, that was another one of the theories of the name was 1050 like oil. 1050, but 1050 is not a real common oil. 1030 or 1040 is more common oils. But I mean it looks like motor oil. Other than the other than the slight carbon, slight bubbles from the slight carbonation. I mean if you just have this laying in uh, anything else with no head on it, you would think it's motor oil. It's that dark. More of those roasty flavors, more of those smoky flavors come out as you get, as it sits here and as you drink through it. There's still a lot of that alcohol smell. Well, this is uh, this is definitely you know high on the list, being a four of good beers. I mean, the what goes into a beer like this has to be quite a bit amount of time, amount of, amount, amount of different and level of ingredients. Really good. But until next time, cheers.